Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just want to shoot a quick video on how to make a vacuum attachment for this DeWalt 12 inch compound miter saw, model number DWS 780. I imagine the same rule applies for just about any saw, but this is the saw I have. And this is the saw we're doing it to. So, the uh, discharge of the I don't know what you want to call it, but the uh, the vacuum attachment and is an inch and a quarter. So you want something that's an inch and a quarter hub to go on top of this pipe. So you're basically going from inch and a quarter hub to a two inch hub to this rigid vacuum hose. This is the vacuum that I have, this rigid, uh, not sure how many gallons it is, wet, dry, uh, six gallon rigid vacuum so you can do it a uh, very bunch of various ways but this is an inch and a quarter by inch and a half flexible coupling so you're going from inch and a quarter hub here to a two inch hub here this is an inch and a half abs 90 i just stuck it in the hub so i can get this bend to save uh the room when i'm sliding the miter saw back and forth it just gives me a little extra room. This actually saves quite a bit of room than this bag that they give you. I don't know if you can see that, but it does save some room. And you don't actually have to just use this coupling. You can use a bushing, like I, I was trying it with this bushing. Go on there, and then right into this 90, and that saves the most space, but it's just a little bit loose on this fitting or on the end of this hose attachment. So I put this flexible coupling. So I got this inch and a quarter by inch and a half flexible coupling. And I have this little tiny inch and a half piece of inch and a half ABS pipe that I cut. See if I can get it in there with one hand. And I can. And from here, let's put this 90 piece on. Sorry, I'm just one handing it here. Put this 90 on. And then just tighten this gear clamp down. This is a this is a two two inch no hub coupling two by two and inch and a half ABS ninety all hub ninety a tiny piece of inch and a half ABS pipe and this coupling but as I said you can do it any way you want you're going from inch and a quarter hub to a two inch hub to attach this vacuum hose onto. So any of the YouTube, good luck to you.